everyone, welcome back to the Shelby McCall channel. I'm Carly, this is Shelby, and today we are going to be showing you what a typical Saturday looks like for Shelby. So let's jump straight into it. Firstly, please excuse the background noise, there is tons of rain and wind here. But our day starts for Shelby with breakfast. I don't wanna stop right here. I don't wanna stop right there. I don't wanna stop right there. You wanna give me confidence, and I just wanna breathe it in. Yeah. Tell you that you're marvelous, and show you that my heart in it. Cause you know I feel so confident. Every time you wanna give me compliments, just sit back, baby, cause I wanna get inside your brain so hot you can fly away. No, no. Shelby usually consists of a mixture of vegetables, usually lots of green leafy type vegetables, as well as some starchy vegetables such as sweet potato and squash. We chuck all of these things straight in the steamer. Shelby likes her vegetables nice and soft from the steamer and we usually make a batch that lasts around three days and we give her one portion and the other two thirds get refrigerated. We don't ever reheat these so over the next two days she will get these cold but she still loves it all the same. Whilst we're doing this Shelby is still in bed, she hasn't actually got out of bed at this point and once we've finished steaming everything and let everything cool down for a short while we will take it upstairs to her and give her breakfast in bed like the queen that she is and she will stay in her bed until about 11.30 a.m. where she will enjoy some time alone, some eating and some preening time. I will use this time to get things done around the house, do some tidying up, get some online work done and basically just occupy myself whilst I haven't got the macaw chasing me around the house and clinging to my shoulders. At around half past 11, I will go upstairs and grab Shelby out of her cage and bring her downstairs and during this time we'll just hang out with her and we'll chill with her and one of the things we've actually really loved doing recently is using the water from the vegetables that we had steamed that morning as a drink for her when she comes downstairs and that usually makes for a lovely nutritious vitamin filled water that's not only hydrating but super super healthy for her and she absolutely loves it Next up for us, all we do is, if the weather is good enough, we take her out for a flight and on this particular day it was absolutely beautiful out, it was a perfect spring day, the wind was beautiful, everything was perfect, so we took her out for a fly. So we have just popped out for a little fly, um, obviously we fly Shelby most days, so um, as part of her daily routine, exercise is a major part of that, as it should be for all of us. Um, so yeah, we take her out for a fly. Today's location is particularly beautiful, so we're going to slip some lovely flight footage in. Not, not that she deserves now. it. What's she done today, mummy? So, story time. Uh, obviously you've seen what we've been up to so far, and it's all been good, but it was quickly brought to a halt and now we're all in grumpy moods because we left our camera lying about with Shelby which is never a good idea and Shelby got hold of it and ripped off the shutter button and now we have to take it to a camera shop to get it repaired so but we've managed to fix it temporarily until yeah just for now until we get it fixed so naughty girl so this is what having a parrot's all about they just destroy everything. You literally need eyes in the back of your head. Mm. Worse than a child because they've got wings, beaks, and yeah, it's a nightmare. But for now, we'll let her burn her energy off flying. Time gonna make her mind, gonna make her mind 
fly. Shelby's lovely and tired and relaxed. She's nice and calm so she's very tired now and this is one of the reasons we like to talk about free flights because look how much energy that's expelled. And now me and Dan are gonna chill. No we're not. I'm going to do Oh I'm gonna chill. <laughs> Dan's going to do this. We proceeded to have another ah. chill out with Shelby. We spent some more time with her and we also started cooking meals and dinners for ourselves. The meals we were cooking here are absolutely gorgeous and actually, so we're making a bon sang pasta dish here and a cheesecake and both of these re recipes are TikTok recipes. So I was super, super impressed with this. Um, but oh my god it was stunning we had such a great meal this day so we made ourselves the pasta dinner an amazing cheesecake dessert and all of this time Shelby's either chilling at the window she's either chilling with us or she goes back to her cage to play or ah. have a snooze she still likes an afternoon nap sometimes especially when she's had a great big fly like she did today every single day and that is clean Shelby's cage out now the lighting here is a bit rubbish because at this point it's the evening but every single day we clean cages uh, cages shell Shelby's cage without doubt once we've cleaned the cage up, Shelby will sit with us and chill with us when she does that and she knows what's coming at this point. She knows that it's almost time for dinner for her and so she gets all excited, she gets herself ready, she gets herself near her perch and, um, and then that is when we go and measure out her food. Now, Shelby gets fed at the same time every day. She gets put in her cage to eat her pellet at 5 p uh, 6 p.m. Sorry, every single day and then lights off at 7 um, and every day we measure out exactly how many pellets we want. This is to help keep an eye on her weight gain. We want her to gain some weight at the moment, so it's to keep an eye on her weight. It's also to monitor how she flies and how she behaves, and then we can adjust her food accordingly. 
We give her 25 grams of food a day, sometimes a bit more depending on what she's eaten throughout the day. If the weather's been horrible and she hasn't flown, then she eats less nuts, so we give her more pellets. Um, but it can be anything up to sort of 35 grams of pellets depending on how hungry she is, but this day she flew loads, had lots to eat, and therefore she had 25 grams of pellets. And I take these upstairs to her and give them to her in her bed. We'll also close off the curtains at this point. We've got big heavy blackout blinds and heavy blackout curtains and we will uh, close all of this off so that she knows ah. it is bedtime and it's getting dark and it's time for her to chill out. Ah. She'll eat all of her pellets and then once she's finished, she has a little chill for a bit, hangs out in her cage, usually gets herself ready to sleep and then it is ah. Time. Once Shelby has been fed, it's time to feed the animals, the other animals. We feed our cat Elsa, we feed Shadow the dog their dinners, and ah. then it is time to just chill out, some time for me and Dan, and we will spend the rest of the evening relaxing, ready to do it all over again the next day. So that is a really simple breakdown of what a weekend for Shelby looks like, a typical Saturday for Shelby. Um, this is without kids, we will be doing a day in the life of Shelby with children. So that's a lot more chaotic, there's a lot more noise and fun when it comes to a day in the life of Shelby and the four children in the house. Ah. Um, so we'll be doing an updated one of those and then we'll be doing also a really, really in-depth, detailed day in the life. Basically following her around, doing everything with her, going everywhere with her throughout the, enti ah. throughout the entire day to see what she really, really gets up to. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it provided some sort of insight into ah. Shelby's life. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, then please do leave them down below ah. in the comments section. I'd love to hear what your bird, if you've got one, gets up to throughout the day. Is their routine ah. similar to Shelby's? Do they spend as much time out of their cages? Do they spend more, t more time out of their cages than Shelby does? Let me know. Ah. Be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so that we know to make more content just like this one and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Big wings. Big wings. Wave. Wave to everyone. Wave. No, that's wings. I give up.